I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. I cannot believe we are halfway through summer already. It is flying by so fast. But today I'm really excited because we're actually going to give my guest bath a makeover. We're gonna rejuvenate it, give it a whole new life. We're gonna do it on a budget, right around $100. It's gonna look completely different and I'm really, really excited. And something I've been wanting to do to the bathroom is actually do a vertical shiplap on the walls. It's something that's be really durable, especially for the kiddos. It's their space, but also to add a lot of texture to the wall and give it um, a new look. But the problem with that is, is that my window is kind of in an awkward spot. And with um, different elements in the room, I don't think it's gonna work. And I had originally planned on painting the vertical shiplap, one of these two colors here. This one is pale oak and I really like how light and warm it is. And then this one is jogging path, a little bit more depth to it. Well, when I put this up in the room, they look completely different throughout the day. So that's something I definitely recommend if you're gonna be redoing your space and painting it. Put some paint samples on a swatch, big enough so you can see it and move it around throughout the day. This one um, has a teeny bit of a green tone in the room, but it's more gray than it is taupey here on the thing. And this one comes off a little too warm and yellow. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. So a few months ago, I actually saw this piece of art at Hobby Lobby and I picked it up because I was like, it's going in my house. I really like it. It has like an old vintage vibe to it. I love the yellow gold in it. It's just, it's pretty. I like it a lot. It has a lot of depth to it. And so this was kind of my jumping off point for the bathroom in a sense. And so it's always good to kind of find one thing that inspires you and then kind of work around that. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm really excited to be actually partnering with Hobby Lobby for today's video because I found all the items at their store. I'm gonna show you a few now and then I'll show you the rest as we start to decorate the space. And I got a few other things that I'll show you later on in the video. But it's just so fun to rejuvenate a space by changing out a few things. I'm still gonna actually reuse some of the decor I have in there now. It's a little bit more of a rustic vibe, I would say. Um, but the wall shelf is gonna stay. It has the wood and metal mix. And I really like that, especially since it's the boys' bathroom. I reuse some of the elements because I really like them. And I bought that a couple years ago, actually at Hobby Lobby. But the art I wanna change right now, there's a bear and I like it, but I think this one would give it a completely different vibe. So since they still had that art in the store, I just put it in the cart and then I went down the candle aisle and I was like, let me see what kind of speaks to me in here. And I saw this beautiful brass candlestick. It had three pillars and I thought, ooh, that's really good too, but it was kind of tall. Okay, let's change the plan here. Let's just keep on looking. And then I saw this candle pillar and I thought, ooh, this is really pretty. I love the design. It's kind of a rockin' feeling to me. I don't know why that's what I, first thing I thought of and I was like, yes, that is what I wanna add there. So again, it's gonna add a lot of character to the bathroom without doing too much to the space. And then I found this beautiful textured vase and I liked this vase because it was tall but it also had a small mouth on it which is great for a smaller space because I have to decorate in a sense of a smaller, taller scale. And so like this vase I love but that one has a huge opening on it and so that would be proportioned wrong for the space. So I thought this would be really good. So I saw this and then as I was wandering the store looking for other elements to add to the space, I ended up finding candles that look like this as well. And I just, this texture is gorgeous because it's got a lot of dimension to it and I just love that it's not just one tone. I like these two because when I want to change up the bathroom and redecorate it again later on, I can reuse these on my shelf and somewhere else in the house. So think about that as you are decorating a space. Think about how versatile that piece of decor that you're looking at can be for your home. Because as we continue to grow and the years go on, our style sometimes changes and what we wanna refresh a space, you don't per se have to get all new things. You can revamp the space and rework things in your home. And so that's what I'm gonna do here in the bathroom today. I'm just really excited to revamp this space. So I hope you're excited to come along as I do this and maybe hopefully help you out find some items that you can use to decorate your home throughout the year as well. But I have everything I will share with you in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Just tap the more button right next to the title. It will all pop up there in the description box for you. I'll try to have everything there that you see. And I just hope that you get inspired after watching today's video and enjoy coming along the journey. All 
All right, so these two colors I think could look really good up on the wall. And then with the art, so you can kind of see which one might look better in here. Flip it around, kind of see where I want it for height. And then pull that out. Up there. Time to add that pretty vase over here. Ooh, I like this a lot. These beautiful pieces of greenery Hobby Lobby, they always have such a great selection. It's hard to choose and I have quite a bit of theirs, but I wanted something different for the bathroom. So I picked up these and they have a few sprigs on them. They're just a form of eucalyptus, but I really like that color green on them. They're just kind of different. So these are actually a little bit long, so I'm just gonna bend them. And you can cut them if you want to, but I always bend if I can. That way, um, if I wanna use them in a taller vase later on, I can. get away with two but I'm gonna do three so it's extra full see with the vase I think that one looks really good but so does the pale oak I could put a candle holder here on the side, but I think it'd be better to alternate them here on this side. Again, adding some character to this wall. I don't wanna do a curtain in here because I have a shower curtain already, and this is just easier with boys <laughs> and keeping it somewhat clean because things get very dirty very quickly. So I think these will look really nice, and now that I have this up on the wall, I can kind of figure out the height that I want these to be on. So I can do it down, I can do it this way. Um, just have to kind of decide. It almost looks better because it offers some height here. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Handle at the same height as the picture. So to do that, I'm just gonna measure from the ceiling down. So I'm at, ooh, 27 exactly. So over here, I can mark that at 27. That'll need to sit right there. definitely doesn't make it stand out as much against the white walls so if I were to paint the walls a darker color what do you guys think if you can't tell I really want to paint <laughs> like a decorative object here if I do something like that like a decorative accent I don't know if I love that though <laughs> I need to find something. These two pieces of art that I made um, years ago, but maybe we add something like that and that's a little too skinny. That's a lot of wood tone. What I think would be really cool next to the art would be like a tall metal feather. 
Ooh, that would be kind of neat looking, I think. I need to get a real candle, cut it down, and have it melt over. I think that'd be really pretty in that one. Now for the mirror. Hobby Lobby's got a great selection of mirrors, all different types and colors that you can choose from. And I was looking at them, but the problem is this one is glued on, and I don't know how much glue they use, and I'm scared that if I go to take it off, it's just going to... Yeah, it's gonna be an issue. And there's a certain way you take off glued mirrors, I know this, but I don't wanna deal with that. I think I'm just going to frame it out like I've done with all my other mirrors in our homes. It's super simple and it's an easy way to update the space. I've done chunky and I've done thin. This one I think I'm going to go maybe on the thinner side, um, but I think it will look really good. You just use an adhesive on the back and it basically glues itself to the mirror. You can do straight cuts, or you can do minor cuts on it uh, at 45 degree angle. That gives it a really clean, crisp uh, look to it. You can do both of those combined. Um, you could add metal to it if you want to. There's endless options, but we're gonna keep it very simple. And for being so small, I do wonder how it gets all over the wall. I went out to the garage and looked through all of our scrap pieces of wood and I found these two options. One is already stained, the other one is just raw wood but they're the same size and I have just enough. So I have to make sure I get my cuts correct on this. So I'm gonna start by doing a 45 degree angled cut here and that is gonna give me my corners. You want them to both face inward and the tops outward for the look that I'm going for, kind of like a regular picture frame here. And then you're gonna cut two of those exact same, so you can use your other one as a template here. Just mark it and go down the line. And then you're going to put those up on the wall and get your other measurement. I find that that's the easiest way to do it, so that way you don't make a mistake. Um, you're basically making a picture frame. I did find some extra small uh, pieces of wood that I could put on the back of the mirror. Um, basically of the wood trim to make it look like it's stuck on, but I wanted to keep this like a renter friendly option and show you guys how to do this. So I just um, taped them to the wall for now and then my next cut was 41 and it fits in perfectly. So now that all the cuts are made, I'm gonna just use a spray paint that I had on hand. I try to use whatever I have, that way I don't have to buy anything extra if I don't need to. And I did two coats of that, let that dry in between. I found these brackets in my bin as well, which was nice, and so I put those on the back to hold it, to hold the corners together. I'm not screwing it on or anything, I just used some um, E6000 on it, or super glue, whatever you got, use that. And then I decided I was going to use some command strips cut those down so they're not as wide put them on the back of the frame make sure that everything kind of fits and then take off the sticky part and push it on now it doesn't sit flush completely all the way around but this was an easy solution and it hasn't come off with all the steam that's in the bathroom and stuff so this is a great renter friendly option for it is doing like a plain towel for in here I thought this pattern would be so pretty I liked the, um, just that different design. The design reminds me a little bit more of like a Moroccan theme. I don't know why I feel that way. The fringe detail on them, I just think they're really pretty. And I like that they're not um, just one color either. So yeah, thought those would be nice in here. And hardware to the cabinet. I found these beautiful little small gold knobs at Hobby Lobby, but um, I like them for here. I just don't know if I want to put them on here. I feel like something a little bit more substantial would be nice, so I'm gonna have that part be continued. <laughs> For the vanity, I wanted to keep it very simple and basic in here, so I just added this really pretty vase I had and then some asparagus plant for that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago, but they do have it in two different sizes. They also have a great selection of bath items. 
So whether you're wanting to organize your space, make it more functional and pretty, they've got lots of options to choose from and everything is on sale from the spring shop. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I really like a lot of the jars and the accents that they have. They have so many pretty basket options and they can be wall decor, they can be laundry baskets, they can be waste baskets, put a bag in them, really versatile, they can be just decorative. So lots of options with those, you can use them underneath the cabinets, but I just really like the variety that they have. And so I actually picked up this one, it's a really nice super soft and plush charcoal mat. They had a couple other things to match it and stuff, but I thought this would be really nice it's in here because it's dark so it will hide dirty footprints and everything and it's really plush. I also wanted to share this basket with you here. I used this in our first home and it was really nice because it could hang the towels and it offered vertical storage because we didn't have much in there. But they have so many beautiful options that are functional and also really pretty. You can find so many unique pieces of decor in here that looks like you went thrifting, but you didn't. And your home will have a lot of charm in it and just character because everything is really unique. And now if you remember, this is how the bathroom looked when we started. Not bad, but we took it to the next level. Keeping it very simple. Simple updates can make a huge change. Did I paint? No but I still can. Did I add my vertical shape lap? No, but I still love how the bathroom came together. For right around $100, I was able to transform a bathroom and give it a beautiful makeover on a budget. And I love the way it turned out. It has a completely different vibe in there now. And it just looks so inviting and it's really warm looking. It's beautiful. So I hope this has inspired you to switch up your space a little bit, try something new, reuse some of the things you have, add in one or two new pieces, and and see how much it can change the space. I wanna show you a couple other things that I found at Hobby Lobby because you guys might be able to score them as well. And this is part of the spring shop, which is on its way out because fall is coming into the store, which is exciting. And I'll be sharing fall decor with you next month. So stay tuned for that. I know it's a little early, but we'll get to it next month and September too. Um, but they have this uh, couple organization um, jars. And this one's huge. This can hold a 10 pound bag of flour and it seals. So it's airtight, which I love. And it's just beautiful. You know, you could use this for other items too, but I like to put sugars and flowers in just one big jar and it keeps everything really well organized and great for storage. Then I also picked it up in a smaller size for specialty sugars and stuff that I have, smaller amounts of items. I just like the seal on it. It's really nice and it's in glass, so you know, it keeps everything fresh and it's not toxic or anything. And I found this really cute drink dispenser. I love that it's an old school jar, but it has a handle, which is what I wanted. And I also like that it's a little bit smaller. The other one I have is gigantic and I can never fill it. And this is great because it seals, but it has a handle, which makes it convenient. And then it has an on and off spout. Cute, right? And something else I found for organization for the kitchen is I'm gonna be redoing my kitchen cabinets and organizing them are these bins. They were five bucks a piece, really good. And they stack on each other. Oh, so good for um, inside cabinets in the back. So all I have to do is pull it forward when I need something and it keeps everything organized. You can put cans in here. You can put all sorts of things nearby. And then I ended up getting another rolling pan. This one's a little bit smaller than my other one, but it's great for the kids to help because they like helping me bake. Acacia wood, which is just beautiful. And then they have all of the stuff was on sale. So I picked up these shears that are great for cutting herbs and stuff. I'm getting kind of fancy here. And then I got some um, silicone cookware so it doesn't scratch some of my pans. And um, I really liked this set because they're um, the spatulas, but they're for like long skinny jars. So I thought that was nice. They had them in a couple different colors. So always always good things to have on hand i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if it did give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends i hope you have an amazing rest of your day everything will be linked in the description box below and i'll see you in the next one Bye.